Hi guys, this is Omer from MMOHut.com and I'm their first impressions gameplay video for Bite Fight, a 2D browser based fantasy ish MMORPG published by GameForge. Now I'll spend about 10 to 15 minutes running around checking this game out. Make some comments. If you guys want to play Bite Fight or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on the link below. So let's go ahead and get started over here. Now, this is a browser based game and I know how much you guys love browser based games, but I should mention beforehand, it's actually not an RTS style game or a strategy style game, much like Ebony is. So, at least in that regard, it is a tad bit different but guys the game is pretty popular and a lot of people do play it and GameForge is actually a pretty big company and basically all they do well not all they do but almost all they do is browser based games I think browser based games in the future will get a lot bigger choose your race we got two exclamations on there guys you know it's important so we got vampires and werewolves which would make sense because they both bite you apparently and the game is called bite fight so I guess they're gonna be biting each other not sure why this thing's over here this weird looking dog but let's go play vampires because vampires are more popular nowadays anyways the werewolves are kind of cool too my name is going to be vamp vamp cool dude let's go with vamp vamp cool dude my password let's go and type that in over there and my email address i'll use this one over here you guys see my uh email address over there i use i use that one mostly for like fake stuff so i don't really care if i get spammed on there so ooh, i gotta type my friend in i'm gonna put me i'm a cool guy click send over there and uh oh my name is already taken i'll go ahead and just resume this after i make my character real quick all right, guys, we just created a character, and the problem was my name was too long. I'm VampVampCGuy69 now. I'm CoolGuy69 over there. So I got 50 golds. I'm not sure why I want to remember my password. Close that. And for you guys curious, I am using Chrome. I do use Google Chrome every now and then, but I also use Firefox. So let's see what's going on over here. It is largely a text-based game. By largely, I mean completely a text-based game. So I got my awesome picture over here. My guy's pretty ugly. So you were brought in by by being an elder, right? I got 50 gold. I got no health stones. I can already tell you that since I have no health stones, health stones are the game's premium currency. I am level 1. One of my battle values 41. Where they pull out battle value, I have no idea. But it looks like I get I got force over there, which I guess is strength. Why, why could they just call it strength if they call it force? I guess they like uh, Star Wars or something. So I'm gonna go increase my force. And it costs gold every time, so I guess gold can increase your stats, which seems pretty ridiculous considering. Well, it does cost more and more every time. I, can, I guess I can probably get gold after I kill people and stuff. So yeah, gold captured, gold lost. I do believe this is a P. Ooh, what is my regeneration rate? 525 per hour. I got 80 bonus talents, whatever that is. I got zero out of three items. I can only hold three items so i brought zero vampires into being i haven't created any vampires yet so let's go click raid over here which seems like a way for us to hunt and kill things so you know what we can do werewolf hunt or manhunt so werewolf hunt i guess when we search for strongly or equal rivals which is actually the pvp area of the game where if you're a werewolf you kill i mean if you're a vampire you kill werewolves if you're a werewolf you kill vampires i never knew that vampires and werewolves were actually at war with each other I, I don't know my vampire lore or my werewolf lore i just know they both bite each other so I'm, I'm not exactly sure if they're actually supposed to be fighting in whatever wherever they're from but you know what we can go hunt the other party if we want to i'm gonna go on a 10 what is this two hour long uh hunt over there what a manly hunt let's go click 10 minutes and click go what happens if we click go over here so is this one of those games yep it is one of those games much like uh forget what it's called actually but it's one of those games where you simply go on a mission and you just wait so there's a lot of winning going on in bite fight but i guess kind of i guess you can kind of get rid of the whole waiting thing if you bring it up in another window it'll tell you exactly how long it's been you can always check back every now and then so this is largely one of those games where you just kind of go ahead on a mission my email is not confirmed guys just letting you guys know it's one, it's one of those games where you simply go af do your mission and go afk while you wait for it the thing is though some of the longer missions go up to two hours but the missions themselves are not nearly as interactive as they could be. Honestly, I'm not too sure why games like this are even popular. You have Shakes and Fidget, which is the other game like this. There's actually numerous other games. I think Gladiatus is like this too. I know GameForge makes a lot of other popular games. You know, they got O-Game, they got Icarian, which are both absurdly powerful. Uh, not powerful, popular. I say that because they each have like 20 plus servers on them. So you know what? Can we do something else while this goes? Can we go check out the, the overview or the city? You know what? We're going to the city. And uh, am I still on my mission? Let's click back. Uh, I guess I still am on my mission, so I don't have to stay there automatically. But there's not much else to do. It's one of those games where you just kind of do your mission, and you check back every now and then. We check out the tavern over here. What is going on there? We got this dude. Pretty friendly guy. He's, he's pretty chill with me being uh He's pretty chill with me being a vampire, I guess. So I accept the quest. Easy, middle, difficult, or expert. <laughs> middle? It's so weird. You know, there's no medium. It's just middle, guys. We're going to go with middle. I can handle the middle quest. Uh, between the shadow markets, chapter one out of four. It is said that the marketplace... Blah blah blah. Something about a ghost. So the game does have missions, but I guess the way you do missions is much like the same way you do actual uh, quests. You kind of go AFK for like ten minutes and you complete it. And I guess all of the game is done like that. All in all, the game is very simplistic. You just simply do those missions. If you've played Shakes and Fidget, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's go check out the other city over here. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But the, this kind of game does appeal to some people. This guy is big and black. He's got a. 
big lips over there. A merchant welcomes you, Vamp C guy sixty nine, cool guy. So you got some other weapons over here. That's pretty. This, guy, this one's glowing over there. You know this one's awesome. But this one costs what two premium currency. So. I mean, I guess the OP weapons do cost premium currency. I imagine you can trade with other players one way or another. So you can you can at least exchange money and you can maybe get premium currency without actually paying for it by buying items or trading for items that other players do have. But I imagine with a game like this, premium currency is going to be pretty overpowered, especially in PvP. If you have a really overpowered weapon that costs cash out monies, you can pretty much guarantee to beat somebody who plays for free. We got Notepad over here. Best. Oh man, look at this awesome Notepad over here. Kiki Kiki, make an awesome happy face. Oh, make a two line happy face over there. Look at this. How pro is that? Even though the mouth is a bit off. Let's go back to the city and see what's up. Because right now, I don't want, the raid place is pretty boring. So let's see. We got a house of pain. What do they sell in the house of pain? Nope. You are still hunting. As soon as you're back, you will see what happens and what you are able to capture. Capture Pokemon's over there. Got my church. We got this dude over here. In the holy house of penance and prayer, even dark figures are welcome. They're cool with werewolves and you know vampires coming in here to chillax with him. Uh, maximum healing 75. Wow, it costs 96 to heal. Whoa. 10% to heal 96, that is expensive. And I have no money right now anyway, so I can't even do that. So let's go back to our overview tab to see what's up. So the missions are very boring, they do take a while to do. But then again, Bite Fight is not one of those games you really play hands-on. And for that reason alone, most of you guys are like, oh my god, I never played this in my life. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my g. But the game actually has, you know, if you wanna if you want if you wanna play something like chillax on the side while you're browsing Facebook, trolling people, doing whatever you guys do on your spare time, you can have a window open with Bite Fight open and just, you know, do some quests. Go AFK, wait till this quest finish just to do them again. But in its core, the game is just like a like a grinding treadmill, and that's really all it is. Though you do have PvP in the game, which is the one, I guess, redeeming redeeming feature out there. Werewolves versus uh, uh, vampires. And again, I wouldn't be doing this game if it wasn't popular. So the game has some sort of player base to it. So that at least gives the game some sort of weight. People do play it, and I'm sure they wouldn't be playing it if the game was pure garbage. And it looks like there is a lot going on. Uh, you got Force over there, too. And at least it's not one of those strategy games, too. Not that those games are bad, just there are so many of them out there. So we're going to keep pumping our force over here. We can do some force lightning eventually. And I can't, I can't spend money here while I'm hunting, man. Man, I am off hunting. I can't ex you know, gain experience. You do have levels as well because I am 0 out of 5 experience. So I got my health over here too. 4,300. That's actually a decent amount of health. Though I'm not sure how much damage you actually do. And I guess when you fight other players, you can take their gold as well. So the PvP is actually kind of rewarding if you win. Though I imagine the more you know people that spend money on their characters are much more powerful. So I got some talent points over here, my attack over here. I regenerate 525 an hour. What exactly I'm regenerating, I'm not 100% sure. But I guess I'm regenerating something over here. And we got my health over there again. I have no items apparently too. We went through this earlier. My statistics are saved over here. We got some talent points. I got to buy my talent points. What is up with that? So we can actually learn some skills apparently. I, oh, it costs 100 over there. Wow. So you can actually learn specific skills in the game, which does, which gives the game some depth too. If you played Gladiators, it's much like it as well. But this company, GameForge, they have mostly browser-based games. And for whatever reason, they are really popular. So I definitely want to make, make a quick video for this. Though I'm not going to drag this out to be 15 minutes long because, I mean, there's really it's a really simplistic game. And there's really not much else going on over here. We got clans. You got a lot of little features as well. High scores. What's up over there? We can see the best vampires over here. This guy's at level 185. And another thing that's unfortunate about these games is it's almost impossible to catch up to high level players. Especially when the level cap is like so high in games like this. At least when you're playing a downloaded MRPG or some other game, you can always catch up because there's a level cap. In a game like this, it comes down to one, if you just play so much longer than somebody else, you can, you know, you'll always be ahead of them. Which is kind of why, you know, I, I, I felt a little bit mixed about EVE Online, but that's, that's a different story. Anyway guys, if you guys do want to play Bite Fight or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on MMHot.com on the link below. Anyway guys, 